What is up guys, Drew Martin here in Las Vegas, Nevada with your Wednesday MLB Rundown. Got two games for you. First up in the happy hour slate here, 6.05 Eastern start time. And then we got a kind of degenerate special in the night half. But the first game up in the NL East and then we'll hit the NL West later. We got Philadelphia Phillies versus the Washington Nationals. Patrick Corbin taking on Aaron Nola in this one. And uh, I like the Philadelphia Phillies pretty much at a pick em price right now here in Vegas at the Westgate. I just bet them minus 107, so they're ever so slight favorites in this one. couple reasons why. Aaron Nola going for the Phillies, the uh, former LSU Tiger. Last time out was his worst performance of the year, but right before that was lights out. He's been a great pitcher pretty much all year long outside of that. The velocity was there, so I just look at that as kind of a, a, a one-start hiccup. And Patrick Corbin on the other side, coming from the left side, which the Philadelphia Phillies have smacked around lefties this year, he's actually given up 16 hits in his last two starts against the Marlins and Orioles. So the Phillies are kind of on that level. I would look for them to kind of take advantage of it. He's given up a 50% hard hit rate this year, so a lot of teams have kind of smacked him around. And when you look at his velocity numbers... He's down to 90 miles per hour, and this is a guy that used to throw 93, so I think something's kind of there, and looking to kind of fade him going forward. I know they're the defending champions, the uh, World Series champions here, but still, I think a lot of the metrics are pointing towards the Phillies being a, a little bit light priced here at just a minus 107 favorite. Um, I know we have to bring in the Phillies bullpen, which is uh, by far the worst. If you're just looking at year-to-date numbers, they're 30 out of 30th in the rankings for bullpen ratings here. But they did trade for Workman from Boston. He's a pretty good arm there. And it, I, I, kind of betting on Nola to go 7-8 innings here. So just to kind of turn it over to him and not have to rely on that Phillies bullpen. One reason why is Nola's getting stretched out. But also the Washington Nationals don't really walk a lot and work the starting pitcher. So look for that to continue. And I like the Phillies. Minus 107 in the happy hour special here, guys. And also, late night degenerate style, 940 Eastern first pitch. Colorado Rockies versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. We got John Gray versus Robbie Ray going for the Diamondbacks. Robbie Ray coming from the left side. He's a guy that changed his mechanics, throwing a lot faster. However, he has had a little bit of trouble with his control. So that's something I worry about here. But John Gray has also had his issues this year, guys. He gave up four earned runs, no strikeouts, seven hits his last time out. He has over a six ERA, almost a six fit. So uh, kind of the advanced metrics there, not very favorable for him. And he faced the Arizona Diamondbacks on August 10th and gave up 11 hits in just over three innings pitched, eight earned runs. So I like the over here at nine and a half, but even more so, I like the Arizona Diamondbacks minus 120. A couple other metrics here to kind of put the cherry on top. Batting wise, Arizona is 100 team points of team OPS, meaning on base plus slugging percentage. They're 100 points better versus righties. And at home, they're 150 points better. So for whatever reason, they're seeing the ball a lot better at home. In Colorado, pretty much the exact opposite. And we're talking splits here, you know, handedness of the pitcher splits and home road dichotomy. Uh, Colorado, you know, each and every year, they, they hit better at home. Uh, you know, the, the, the elevation, the thin air. I mean, the, the stadium, the football stadium in Denver is called Mile High if you're just kind of new to, to MLB betting here. But their home road splits, 600 team OPS on the road, 800 at home, a 200 point difference. So I wouldn't look for those Colorado bats to be too hot against a shaky Robbie Ray and just having to lay minus 120 here on the Diamondbacks. I like the D-backs, so uh, short favorite, minus 120 on the D-backs, and minus 107 on the Philadelphia Phillies over the Washington Nationals. So best of luck if you're tailing out there, guys. Got one small favorite, one pick em price, and huge shout out to Odds Checker for making these videos happen. And uh, guys, we'll be back later. Hopefully we can cash these two tickets, but uh, thanks for watching and best of luck.